Hi there, John Ballwood again. We're going to be looking at the problem number three in the intermediate section of the information uh, theory part of this course. Um, number three asks us to modify the uh, coin flip information content model and change it to dice roll information content. Uh, so instead of flipping a coin, we're going to roll a die. All right, let's look at how we would do that. Um, here is our model. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see things well. Um, now, first thing we'll do is we'll make a file. We'll save this as dice or die roll. Okay, so we'll save that. <clears throat> and um, all right, so the first thing I would do is instead of flipping a coin, I'm going to leave a lot of the uh, interface elements and a lot of the back uh, end code in place just because we'll use that as analogy to bake our code. Uh, first thing, instead of flipping a fair coin, clearly we're going to need a new button um, that says um, roll, and we'll name that to um, roll a die. So we're going to have a, a command that's called roll. So instead of um, flipping the fair coin, let's see what that does. That says flip fair coin. There's a procedure in the back end called flip fair coin. Our procedure is going to be roll. And uh, this box here is an important box. This We'll edit this, and instead of coin result, we will call it, um, got to get the right one, call this uh, roll result. Okay, so um, let's again look at the interface. A lot of things broke when I changed that, so we'll see if we can fix those. But uh, we know that we're going to have a box that collects the results of the rolls, and let's just step back a second and see how the original program worked. Because when we flipped the coin, uh, heads and tails showed up here, and Essentially, it calculated uh, the amount of uh, information using um, Shannon's information equation. And let me see if I can maybe make this smaller again so we can see. Yeah, and that information content showed up down here. And if we look at this uh, box here, we see that, that there was a reporter that was just looking at the value of H. So. Uh, in the back end, we can see that all the, the uh, interesting work was done, not interesting, but all of the heavy lifting was done by these procedures here that actually calculated Shannon's information from a probability table, okay? And that probability table was generated here from a frequency table, and that frequency table was built right here. And that relied on a word uh, or a string of words that was created by this procedure. Fortunately, we don't have to mess with any of those procedures because all we have to do is change a different set of words that will represent the values of the roll die. And we'll put those in this roll result. And we'll use those same procedures just to calculate the thing. So our task here is to create... Um, an animation, I guess, an image of a die, and make that image report instead of heads and tails, one, two, three, four, five, or six. Okay, so it's actually a um, fairly easy process because the calculations will be done for us. We just need to be able to generate text in this window that is uh, different. So let's again look here. I'm just gonna revisit how this, this does flip fair coin. So then we're going to go to the back end, see how flip fair coin works. It's a very simple procedure that just sets the result, which is a global variable, to one of heads or tails. So we will make our own procedure that's analogous to this to roll. And this will set the results to Instead of heads or tails, we're going to be using one, two, three, 
two, three, four, five, and six. So we're going to be using those uh, variables, or not variables, those are strings. Uh, and they're, they're going to refer to the shape uh, that we'll create in a second. Now, um, whenever I see a literal like this, and I suspect that we might use it multiple times, I will um, actually copy it and put it in the setup procedure. Actually, first I'll make a, a global variable. Let's call it the list. Because we're going to use this uh, more than once. So I want to call that um, And we'll just make a literal that allows us to uh, use that over and over again. So now instead of um, instead of coming down here down here and saying all of this, I just refer to it as the list. That's a little shorthand because I, I know that I'm going to be using that list of va variables of values again, and so it's nice to just have to have it in one place. Okay, so so we set the result to one of the list. Uh, that's the same as they've done there. And now we'll um, have another procedure that shows what the role does. Okay? Because we'll want to animate that role after, after it happens. Okay. Now, um, let's see. We're going to need to have a bunch of shapes. So I'm going to jump into the shape editor, and I'll show you the first one, and then uh, I'll let you run on your own to uh, generate the rest of them. So quickly, what we do is we go into the shape editor. Uh, look, here's something that's already looks like a, a die, pretty much. I'm just going to um, get this, change the color to white, turn off snap to grid, um, draw a little circle, um, duplicate that circle, put it there, duplicate there, duplicate, there, duplicate, uh, there, duplicate, there. If I was a picky sort of person, I would make lines like so to see if things were lined up, but I'm not a picky person like that, right? So. Okay, we want to need to make sure that we um, label these correctly. This one will be labeled one. Okay, and then once we have one labeled, we can duplicate it and um, label the next one two, and just move things around until it looks correct to you. Uh, let's see, if that's a 2, then well, let's make this side 4. Yeah, this is kind of a little bit tedious. Um, but uh, why don't you go ahead and put me on pause and go ahead and finish all six of these. We're going to need a 6 die. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This one's obviously number 2. And... Um, yeah, so just finish those, label them correctly, and when you've got them done, turn me back on. Okay, now you're back, and I'm just saving my final one, number six. We've got them all done. One, two, three, four, five, six, a bunch of shapes in our shape editor. Um, now we're ready to jump back to our model, and let's look at our setup procedure. Uh, in the original model, they set up and set the shape to heads. <clears throat> we have this thing called the list so we could set the shape to um, instead of heads let's say to one of the list set size to 10 color gray heading 90 that we can leave all that stuff let's see what happens now when we go to our interface and we use setup nothing set shape one of the list the list is that. I wonder if we have a problem with our capitalization. Let's 
so they um, <clears throat> the shapes are actually only allowed to be uh, lower case. let's see if we have a problem it might be that we have these other problems in the code that we need to resolve before we can run setup I think that's probably the case nothing in coin results so let's change our coin results to roll results So I replace it. We could use a search and replace here, but I think there's only a couple of them. Let's see. And there's no show role to show role. At least we'll make that see if there's something. And no coin results. Set role results. Okay, let's see if that works. Now, if we do a setup, okay, now it works. So we get <clears throat> these different uh, random die. Uh, okay, now what we don't have is in there, um, in the original script, um, we set result there, and then we show the flip. We set the result and we show the role. We don't do that. Their show the role actually did more than show just showing the role. Their show flip, I should say, actually kept track of how many heads and tails there were. And ultimately and importantly, it set the value in that window, role results, uh, to a string like this. So I'm going to copy this. This is an important line. This is the last thing that happens. So we need to make sure that whatever else show role does, that it sets the results to this. Now let's see what happens. Now when we set up and we roll the die, it looks like it sets the results there. Now it looks like we could use a space in there. I'm going to go into this uh, set role results and uh, it's currently using this word operator, which is a concatenation operator. It just basically makes a string out of everything that's already in role results and tags on this result. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other version of this command, which is the parentheses version. And I'm going to um, insert a space right in there, a little string space. Okay, let's see if that fixes that problem. Now when we roll the die, sure enough, we get values inserted there. Um, okay, my first attempt at fixing this was to change the um, these things. That doesn't really matter. That was not, that was a red herring. So, um, okay, so now let's see. We've got, um, we don't really have any kind of animation. Let's build a, a little animation to make this pretty. Like they had the flip it and they, they flopped back and forth between some other shapes. Uh, we can do we can do that as well. So we will, um, to show role, um, we will say <clears throat> if uh, results equals one, then we're, what are we going to do? Then we're going to um, ask the turtles to repeat four times. Um, what are we going to repeat? We're going to um, set the shape to uh, one of the list. So four times we're going to ask them to change their shape and then we will ask them to wait uh, for oh, about half a second. Okay. And then we'll ask them to set the shape to one. So <clears throat> this will give us a nice little animation. It's going to randomly flip the shape to a few things, wait a little bit, and then finally set the shape to one. So that's what it'll do if it's one. Um, let's see, is that correct? Oh, it looks like I'm missing a bracket. So yeah, once you get one of them correct, we can just copy and paste that. Call this one two, this one three, four, fast forward if you like, uh, five, 
six. Four, three, and two. Okay, now we've set the um, animation. Let's see if it works. So we go back here, and nothing named results has been defined. Um, <clears throat> um, let's look at that. Set result. Okay. Let's see if that works now. Let's roll the right die side. Looks like it's working. Okay, so what it's doing is generating a list. And if we calculate the information on that list, uh, that looks about right to me. So we can roll the die again. Calculate the information. So uh, it's just calculating the information off of the frequency of this list right here. So let's start over again. Roll it one time. We should get a uh, information content of zero when there's only one. Now if we uh, Roll it twice. We should still have an information content of zero because it's the same value. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. There we go. So, looks like it's working. There you go.